Ten years ago, an experimental batch of Tribbles was sent to the brig by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These Tribbles promptly escaped from a maximum security force field to the Jeffries Tubes. Today, still wanted by the Klingons, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the T-Team. Hello, good evening. Welcome to our Star Trek Adventures one-shot game, The All Tribbles Party. Before we begin, it's important that we thank Modifius, not just for Star Trek Adventures, but for releasing the very same rules for Tribbles that we will be using tonight. Some might t have taken those rules as a simple April Fool's joke. However, here we take Tribble role-playing very seriously. So, without any further ado, let's tell a Tribble story. This morning, Alpha Shift of the USS Vandura came on duty. They did regular maintenance on the multivariable plasmodic induction coil. They met their friends in the mess hall for lunch. They had fun in the holodeck in a program called The Pirates of Ryza, Dead Man's Horgon. They did everything expected of a Starfleet's crew. You did none of these things, for you are a Tribble. A being of such terrible power and might that can bring entire sectors to their knees in a matter of weeks. So why the Vandura's crew worked, laughed, and lived? You were in the cargo bay, hiding away to avoid notice waiting for the time when you would be called upon, yet again, to save the Vandura from whatever crisis it befalls it or her crew. And we start the session in the cargo bay. Uh, so, uh, you guys are, you know, secreted away in your little hidey holes, when all of a sudden uh, you hear the sound of energy weapons fire, and in one of the entrances to the right side of the screen, uh, the doors open and in rush four Klingon warriors... And uh, they begin shouting at each other in Klingon, uh, more or less along the lines of, Hold them back! Seal the doors! Uh, and they do seal the doors. And as they walk further into the cargo bay, they fan out trying to uh, look, uh, you know, for any foes that would befall them. Uh, they get to about uh, mid midway through the cargo bay when they step into what would essentially be a very, very... Tribble Trap. So, uh, I'm going to introduce you guys one at a time. Uh, if you could tell us uh, your Tribble's name, uh, if there's anything we should know about them in terms of color or characteristics, and then uh, give us your best, tribble impre per ah, your best Tribble impersonation for the record. So, uh, why don't we start with you, Flibble? Ah. Um, so... Libble is a beige Tribble who occasionally will roll into some teal hair paint. Um, for the most part, large, about two-thirds of a foot. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Besides, uh... I like it. All right, so a Klingon warrior has, uh, we'll say for sake of argument, you guys are on top of these large uh, crates... A Klingon warrior has just passed underneath of you. What would you like to do, Flibble? Um, I'd like to take out my uh, phaser and fire at it. Okay, I need you to roll me a control and a security. Uh, the difficulty is two. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Yep. Roll... Oh, starting off a bit interestingly in that the Roll20 app will not open the rolling file. Uh-oh. Yeah. How about we move on while I try and get the roll? All right, yeah, as you're doing that, uh, let's go to our next Tribble. Uh, Ensley, if you would care to introduce your Tribble. Uh, my Tribble is Squirt Parit. Uh, he is uh, a Tribble that was wild but has found his way onto the ship. Uh, he is basically white with some black uh, hairs in there. He's a very stealthy Tribble, um, and also a very beefy, strong Tribble. He's sort of the uh, Tribble-to-hand combat master. And I suppose my Tribble noise is... 
All right, well, uh, as I said, Klingons are walking uh, down into your left and down into your right. What would you like to do? Okay, so this Klingon warrior here to my uh, subjective north, um, mm-hmm. I will hit him with my terrible triple scream using uh, the uh, Klingon talent. Mm-hmm. So, Which I believe... <laughs> Oh, Lord, that never gets old. It really doesn't. <laughs> All right, so uh, I believe I have to roll, what is it, a control and command for them? Control, command, difficulty three, or I inflict two challenge dice worth of damage on them. Very nice. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, let's see, Klingon Warrior, boop. Uh, they actually pass. Uh, ah. So, you know, you let out your terrible war cry of the Tribble, and the Klingon sort of jumps and goes, ah, what the hell is that? And at the same time, uh, Flipple, you aim with your phaser. Unfortunately, uh, you're unable to make contact with your shot. It goes wide. And as yeah. this is all unfolding, uh, let's go to Wisp. So, Wisp, if you would can introduce yourself. Uh-oh. You're lighting up, but I'm not hearing anything. Oh no, here we go. Starting off great. Yep. I always... Uh, one of the ensigns brought me aboard the ship, but I ran away. Shh, don't tell them. And they are black with white tips. And they are very cute. A plus treble noise. What would you like to do again? There are uh, several Klingon warriors that have invaded your home. Oh boy. Uh, I would like to headbutt. Okay. Uh, which one, just for sake of argument? Uh, let's go with this one. Very good. All right, so you are going to be rolling me a daring and security, please. Difficulty one. Ooh, daring. P20s. No focus. All right, let's see uh, what the Klingon rolls. Unfortunately, what happens uh, is as you jump down onto the uh, Klingon warrior, uh, he apparently is a little bit more aware than you were expecting. So he literally catches you uh, mid-air, and he growls a very guttural sort of snarl at you. And he goes, uh, Comrades, we have the great tribal enemy in our midst. And he pulls out a tang, and he stabs you with it, uh, only doing one stress worth of damage. But, uh, yeah. All right, and that finally leaves Fluffles. So, Fluffles, if you would care to introduce yourself. Nope, oh, is Soup still BRB? He might be. Soup! Oh, well. Uh, we'll get to him in a moment. Maybe, maybe he's still waking up. But uh, we are going to jump into uh, silly combat to start things off, because why not? Uh, so it is any one of you can go, and then it will go to the Klingons, back to you, etc., etc. Oh, bloody hell, my thing just cut out. Oh, hey. Well, now that you're here, you can tell us a little bit about Fluffles. I am Fluffles. I was brought up as a wild creature, but then captured by some ensign and brought on the ship as a pet. And I'm reddish brown. I don't know why. All right. That's about it. Triple noise. <laughs> That'll do. All right. So uh, let's have you move first in combat. There are four triple warriors. Uh, Wisp is currently uh, in combat with this gentleman here. Uh, they were just stabbed by a uh, detained dagger. The other Klingons are starting to go for their weapons as well. Blood for the blood god. I launch myself at him. Okay. Which one are you launching him at? That one as well. Ah, to save Wisp. I like it. Yes. Uh, Comrade so- will never die. <laughs> if you could roll me a daring security, please. Save me, friend. Uh, 
Hey, two successes. Very nice. Let's see what the Klingon rolls. Uh, Ty goes to you. So yes, you actually are managing to hit this Klingon warrior. So uh, are you going to do unarmed? Are you going to grapple him? I'm basically jumping on his face and point blank phasering him. All right. So yeah, uh, go ahead and roll me some damage. How many roll? It's 2d20, right? Uh, for damage, this. it is uh, challenge dice. Oh crap, I hit. I actually hit the wrong thing. So, four challenge dice. Mm-hmm. Right. Wow. So, for those uninitiated, five is the magic number in this system. And uh, I did specifically take away the Klingon's resistance. So what this means is that uh, Fluffles, you see your comrade Wisp in danger and you think to yourself, this will not stand. So you leap uh, almost a uh, flying suplex and slam into the Klingon warrior's face. And he lets go of Wisp, uh, who falls carefully and safely to the ground. And he, he tries to claw at his face where you're just mauling it viciously. And he's like, it's on my face for the love of Kalos. It's on my face. <laughs> and and he just falls to the ground twitching and crying. It is the most humiliating thing a Klingon warrior could ever experience. And that Klingon warrior is effectively out of combat. Uh, one of his comrades, uh, this gentleman down here, uh, has decided... That this will not stand. And he pulls out a Batleth and is going to run over to Fluffles. So, Fluffles, I need you to roll me another daring security, please. And I will wait to roll to make it all dramatic. All right, two successes. What does the Klingon Warrior get? You win, so you actually can roll me some damage as uh, you counterattack the warrior running at you. Blood for the blood gods. <laughs> I am I murdered you. Magic all. number. All right, so let me paint the picture. Klingon one goes down, crying and sobbing in the fetal position. Fluffles, feeling the pulsating blood through its veins. Uh, looks at the Klingon warrior running at him with a batleth and decides this is unacceptable. And in a, disp in a display of amazing agility, you leap from ground level again up to this Klingon warrior's face and he flails wildly with his batleth and he goes, No! No, it's on me now! No! And he too falls to the ground crying like a baby. And he too is no longer in this combat. All right, well, uh, that was a very exciting two turns. It is now <laughs> back to the players. All right, well, Squirt will leap from his crate here onto the one to the north. Mm -hmm. I pity the Klingon wakes me up from my nap, fool! <laughs> and I will actually give you a threat for three dice. Okay. This is everything I ever wanted. <laughs> This is beautiful, Freddy. Okay, so I think the way this works, I can do this with unarmed strike, melee, dice pool. Yeah, okay. There we go. Two. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the Klingon rolls. Ooh, the Klingon was prepared. He saw his friends go down and said, "No, I am not going to go, going to go down like that." So he catches you, almost like what happened to Wisp. Uh, mm -hmm. But instead of a, a direct stab with his detang, uh, he decides to throw you up in the air and almost spear and pale you. Um, ah. You only take two stress damage, but, you know, you still took the damage. And then, yeah, uh, the remaining two Klingon warriors, uh, this one right here is going to start hyperventilating and is going to panic. And by that, I mean he's going to pull out his disruptor pistol and he's just going to fire it wildly, not really picking a target. So I'm just going to roll a, uh, a D6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I'm going to roll a D6, and that will be who he targets with this. A five. And what does he roll for his ranged attack? Ooh, so 
Klingon warrior, hyperventilating. He's having flashbacks to the Great Tribble War, the terrible, terrible time in Tribble history where the Klingons almost committed genocide uh, against the Tribbles, wiping them out. Uh, he, he remembers the fateful day on that bloody battlefield. And in his panic, he tries to fire his disruptor, but realizes almost too late that he is holding the disruptor backwards. And in the process, he shoots himself. <laughs> yes. And the Klingon warrior falls stunned to the ground out of combat. Fool! And we come back to the players. I believe uh, Flibble and uh, Wisp, you have not gone yet. So whichever one of you would like to go. Sure. <laughs> no, um, I think Flibble would like to use his uh, phaser against the Final Clan. Okay. So that's going to be a uh, control security. The difficulty is two. Now, what uh, what I will say is that Squirt uh, did. You could give me threat to roll more dice if you so wished. Uh, hmm. Sure. Let's make it interesting. All right. How many dice would you like to roll? Three. Three? Okay. So then you would give me one threat. Yes. So this would be control security, you said? Yep. Hey. Sorry. I apologize for any mistakes I make. I'm still new to roll 20. No, you're fine. AD 20. Submit. No focus. Ooh, that's a complication, which means, unfortunately, you don't hit the Klingon, but you do hit your buddy. Uh, so I do need you to roll me damage on your phaser. Now, uh, so since you are new to roll 20, um, if you go under the collections tab, which should be uh, that right-hand window above chat, uh, you should see uh, under macros, there should be a macro available to you called challenge dice. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click the in bar and then okay. show macro quick bar. And then if you look back at your map, a little button will have popped up below everyone's name that says challenge dice. And then you want to click that and yep. you want to roll five challenge dice for your phaser. Oh boy. Yep. yep. Okay. So good news. Uh, you only lightly hit Squirt, uh, which I will say so many times wrong. Uh, so Mr. T as Tribble, uh, will take two stress damage. And how, how does, how does, how does he feel about taking this damage from his comrade? Sorry, I'm a, I'm a talker, not a fighter. Damn it, Civil! <laughs> you gotta control yourself! Never! It's the last time I'm getting on a ship with you, Flibble! <laughs> <laughs> It is at this, this point that the Klingon warrior that remains, he's going to take a read of the situation, and he is, too, going to pull out his disruptor. And I'm not even going to roll for him. He just decides to take the easy way out. He shoots himself, hoping that he will never, ever have to deal with this horrible tragedy <laughs> ever again. That's right. So, uh, you know, as the battlefield clears, uh, the... Two Klingons are stunned. They are out. Two of them are crying like babies. Uh, it is at this point that the door to the cargo bay opens once more and a security team, a Starfleet security team, uh, rushes in. Uh, Everybody with... hide! Quick! Oh, quick! Hide! Okay. I'm left the wind. Get me a cardboard box. <laughs> All right. So to hide, I need everyone to roll me a fitness and con, please. Uh, the difficulty here is a one. Will you take uh, stealth? I will definitely take stealth as a focus. Blending in? Blending in is also a focus. Adaptation? Sure. Fitness and con, that's no good. All right, yeah, so no. Fluffles uh, does not succeed. Uh, Wisp... I couldn't find a cardboard box. Uh, Wisp actually gets two momentum. Uh, Flibble Heck gets yeah. one momentum. And uh, Mr. T uh, succeeds as well. So the only one that does not hide is Fluffles. Uh, by the way, who's keeping track of momentum for us? You guys would be at three right now. I can do it. All right, thank you very much. All right, so uh, as the rest of you hide, Fluffles, you're paralyzed with indecision. You you feel the blood gods call in your veins. You, you want to end the Klingon threat for good. And it is at that time that a security officer in his gold shirt comes running up to you 
and he starts checking the the Klingon vitals, and then he notices you, and he kind of cocks his head to the side and says, "The hell is is that a Tribble?" Yes, I am a Tribble. Get me a cardboard box. So the the gentleman kind of cocks his head to the sides and says, "Yeah, it's it's making Tribble noises. Yeah, that that's sir. We do we have Tribbles?" And, you know, after a moment, uh, the, whoever he's calling says, No, Frank, there are no Tribbles on this vessel. We've been over this. They are a myth. They do not exist. And then the same guy says, Are you sure? Uh, Fluffles, if you would care to make another fitness con, uh, the difficulty now is a two. Told you you gotta watch that wisp. Can I assist? Get crazy! How would you be assisting? I would like to make non-Tribble noises to make him think he's crazier and get distracted. Okay, uh, I will allow it. Uh, you can roll me a presence and command, and since you're assisting, only one die. Okay. Can, can Wisp do the same thing? Uh, I'm going to say for this, only one person can assist. So. Okay. Command. Uh, would this be uh, for a... Uh, oh, where is it? Sorry, I have character sheets are annoying. So mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh... Would this be convincing? This would be very convincing. Focus this, cool. All right. 20. Cool focus. Wow. So uh, you actually nice. get two momentum from that. So you guys are up to five momentum. And yeah, sure enough, Fluffles, as uh, the gentleman is distracted, <laughs> uh, distracted as uh, Frank is distracted, you scurry away and hide. And when Frank looks back, he goes, okay, that was weird. I swear there was a... All right, okay, I'm part of the myth now. There are no tribbles. Just got to remember, Frank, there are no tribbles. And uh, by this time, uh, the rest of the security team has arrived, and they begin dragging off uh, the Klingon warriors, and you overhear one of them say, man, I, I can't believe they broke out of the brig. Where did they get the detangs and the, the phasers from? Uh, I don't know, but, uh, you know, we should really check the force fields of the brig. This shouldn't be happening. And Dang one it. by one... Uh, the Klingons are taken away. I bet those Klingons had food. <laughs> Maybe the Klingons are food. They were probably food. hiding it inside a cardboard box. A I wonder what that box is. A little too long. About yeah. so. Next time I say we interrogate him. Yeah. We just take that food, fool. <laughs> yeah, interrogate him for the food. Well, uh, as you know, there should be food. Always. Have I not eaten about ten minutes? Fluffles, where's some food? Sir, I think there's some food inside a replicator somewhere on this ship. We just have to find it. So I, I will point out... The force fields. I, I will point out that uh, there is a replicator here in the cargo bay, and for the moment, you four are alone in the cargo bay. <sighs> where's this replicator? Uh, we'll say the replicator is uh, over yonder next to this panel or this column. So up here to the left. Food. Let me get it open. I know how to do this. All right. I need you to roll me a control and an engineering, please. And I, I feel help. promotion engineering, so I get to add an additional D20 to this. I can help. All right. Yeah. Uh, you are also going to be rolling a control engineering. And since you're assisting, it's just the one die. All right, that's two successes already. Let's see what the assist gets you. All right, you guys are capped on momentum. So uh, with Fluffles and Wisp literally launching themselves at the replicator control panel, uh, you hear the chime of the computer and it says, please in state or please state uh, desired replicant food. Tacos. All of it. Popcorn. Quattro to the Kaylee, fool. Tacos. Their quattro to the Kaylee is pretty good. What's up? Quattro to the Kaylee. And uh, the computer does that error noise and says, unable to understand query, please restate request. Tacos. Error, unable to understand query, query please restate response. We gotta try to enter it right. manually. All right, man. I think we should just open this thing up. 
I said it eruption is broken. Not built for intelligent beings. If there are cans, use them. Exactly. Not built that's, for intelligent beings. That's what I'm saying. It sounds like truth to me. Can I, can uh, Squirt just kind of try and manually punch some buttons to get it to give us something? Sure. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, this can go one of two ways, and I'll let you pick. Uh, either uh, you guys can form a triple tower and make it so that you're at the same level as uh, the buttons, which would make it very easy. Uh, that would involve a fitness and, uh, or maybe a control and a security, or let's say a control and a con, if you guys do it that way. Or uh, you can launch yourself like a missile at the control panel and hope you hit the right buttons. And that would be a daring and a con. <laughs> I'm doing the second option. Okay. Well, uh, let's have uh, Squirt. Let's have uh, you assist Wisp here. So yeah, uh, Wisp, if you want to roll me a daring and con, please. The difficulty for this, I'm going to spend some of the threat you guys gave me. I'm going to make this a difficulty three. Smack. You want to... Why don't we eat... Why don't you take a momentum, Ari? Ooh, unfortunately. Oh, uh, already rolled, okay. They already rolled, and unfortunately, because they did not succeed, right. uh, your assist, assist doesn't even matter. Yep. So Wisp uh, launches themselves uh, at the control panel, and it, you know, it does a lot of beeping, a lot of error noises, and the computer says, Unauthorized access detected. Contacting security immediately. And that then... I'm going to immediately right attempt button. to break it. You're going to attempt to break it. I'm going to attempt to basically remove it. Shoot okay. it. Are you fly? Are you hurling yourself at the replicator, or are you sh literally shooting it? I'm going to shoot it. You're going to shoot it. Roll me a control security, please. Difficulty two. That and was definitely not. You can have a momentum if you want it. That yeah, you do you have six time. momentum. I will take that. Can I use that adaptation because I'm adapting to the situation? You certainly can. Wow, Bang. very nice. So you, uh, you're back capped on momentum even, and you have one floating. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you shoot uh, the, the, uh, the replicator. And actually, I tell you what, if you give me the two momentum you just got, I will say you do it quick enough that the alarms do not sound. I will give it to you. All right, so you shoot it, and before the replicator can get off a, uh, a warning cry or a warning alert... Uh, the replicator fizzles and it goes dark. All right, men. I need you to help me remove this thing from the wall because I know there's food inside. How do you know there's food inside? Because that's how replicators work. Where do you think they get the food from? I don't know. I thought some sort of molecular holding pin deep in the bowels of the ship that was reassembled. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's totally got to be food inside. <laughs> All right, we better form a tower then. I'll be at the bottom. I'll be at the top. Yeah. I have the most knowledge about engineering. Uh, I guess I'm second from the top. <laughs> As usual. Hurry up! Don't put your foot in my eye. I don't um, have feet. It's okay. We have eyes. This is the thing, and I love it. All right, so uh, I'm going to say whoever's at the top, I need you to roll me a uh, daring engineering, and whoever's at the bottom, I need you to roll me a control or a fitness plus, let's say, command, because you're coordinating the perilous tower of triples. New sentence right there, people. Oh, there's my, there's my roll. Perilous right. tower of triples. Uh, and so Fluffle I will succeeds. spend a momentum for an extra die. All right. Uh, awareness as a focus? Sure, because you are kind of coordinating your efforts and you want to make sure that the tower does not topple. Yes. There we go. Very nice. Well, uh, you're back at six momentum. <laughs> we will never <laughs> run out of momentum today. Uh, so if yeah. Yeah. Fluffles, uh, with uh, you at the top, you slam into the uh, the holding bolts that hold the replicator into the wall, 
And just uh, just in time, uh, Squirt uh, coordinates with everybody else and scurries out of the way. And the entire replicator unit falls uh, out onto the floor with a loud clattering noise. Uh, there is no food behind it, though. Just uh, what appears to be an EPS conduit. Where's the clue? I was taking it. You lied. How does this food make sense? Here. I'm getting hungry. How is this possible? Well, Every time I go... Every time I hide inside one of these things, food just appears. It's like someone fills it. Maybe someone is filling it, and no one, because no one's in the cargo bay, no one's filling it. If or the Klingons took it. it. They were here. That's also true. That could have happened. It sounds probable. Yeah. All right. I see. I say we get, we find someone on the crew, we capture them, and we make them fix this. We go sneak in the mess hall. They eat there. Yeah. You know, that's Humans true. don't eat all their food because they're stupid. They're fools. We can go eat their trash. That's a waste of food. We should eat it all. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, they don't all. believe that we exist. So that means it's the perfect disguise, just like boxes. Squared exists. <laughs> uh, just give me a moment. I am uh, setting up a mess hall map for you guys. Question. Is there a box around here? I I mean, there are definitely crates you could repurpose for the situation. All right, men. I have a plan. We so all get together last plan. one box, and we start moving it around. It's the perfect disguise. Nobody suspects a cardboard box. Boxes well... don't move around, fool. Hannibal, this plan is crazy. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> No, it's not crazy. Because last time I did it, they just thought it was a machine. Yeah. Less talking, more fooding. Yeah. Alright, so if I, I understand the box. idea properly, you guys literally want to commandeer one of the boxes and then solid snake style move out of the cargo bay into the mess hall. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is a thing. All right, so uh, I would like, uh, there's going to be two roles here. Uh, the first role, I would say that uh, you can assist each other. In fact, I would say everybody can assist on this uh, okay. because this is going to be a difficulty five, uh, daring and con. Now, it's important to decide amongst yourselves who's doing the full role and who's doing the assisting. I'm I have a 10 eight. daring. I have a 10 daring and 2 con plus stealth focus. What's everyone else got? 9 daring and 2 con. Same. With an adaptation focus. Stealth focus. Yep. Yeah, and I'm rolling basically the same, same as you with an 11 daring and a 1 con. Alright. So, uh, who's gonna take the fall? Probably you. I reckon you do it. Yeah. All right, but I'll be burning momentum for this. I yes. would expect nothing less. How much are you spending? I, I will get two additional dice. All right, that's three momentum. And you know what? Let's make this even more interesting. I'm going to spend some threat, and uh, I'm going to do the rare difficulty six, complication range 18 to 20. Yeah. So I have 4d20 plus mm -hmm. focus. Yeah. Let's go. Well, oh my. Uh, that is three successes, so now we just need to see an assist from everybody else and see if you get the six required successes. Daring and con? Daring and con, yep. Oh, and that is actually a complication on Fluffle's part as well. Ooh. So you can still succeed, but that definitely is at least one complication. Adaptation focus? Sure. Convince blending in focus, right? Sure. Ooh. Putting the pressure on. I need to see a crit here. Otherwise, you do not succeed. Oh. All right. So. Uh, Didn't believe in the boxes enough. Uh, I'm going to spend an additional two threat to get rid of that complication at least. Uh, actually, you oh, wait, can't. Sorry, because, additional two momentum. Uh, you can't because you're assisting. Ah, dang it. Yeah, okay. I was going to say enough. only the actual character uh, doing the thing can, you know, spend the momentum, etc. I'll so, take the falls, guys. You guys get the food. What happens uh, as we cut to the mess hall? A metal box, uh, the doors open and a metal box uh, sort of glides in 
And at first, you know, nobody's like noticing the box. But as you get to like, say, the middle of the floor here, um, you know, people's heads start turning and they start looking at the box. And one of the uh, one of the crewmen says, did did that box just move? Do not move. Everyone hold on to the sides of the box. I you know what, Jim? On my fur. We've been here the whole time. You, you know what, Jim? I, I think it did. I, I didn't see anyone bring the box in. Well, how did it get here then? Well, some. Did nope, you... the box was totally here the entire time. It was here the entire time. Is, do, do you hear purring? You, you know Stop what? I think fool. I do. Stop, you fools. I... Okay, S- Square is going to use his talent, sel- Stealth Tribble. Uh huh. Once per scene, I may hide away, making my presence unnoticeable by anyone who wasn't a Klingon. I would like. So I'm going to do that as well. <laughs> I am going to convince them that this is, in fact, not a moving box. I would like to convince them that they're imagining it. Okay, uh, a lot of and things are happening that, at once. I would like to make the box beep. Oh dear! All right, <laughs> so a lot of things are going to happen I here would, at once. I would help I, make uh, the box beep. So I get everybody on here. All right, so there's uh, there's Sweet and there's Wisp. All right, so uh, let's go in order here. So Flibble, what are you doing? I would like to convince them that the box beeps and therefore is not moving. Is just a random technological thing on the floor. Okay, it should be on the floor. Uh, I will say that this will be a either a control or a presence plus engineering. And presence the difficulty engineering. here will be a three. That's I will fine. help. Okay, so Wisp, you're assisting. Uh, you can also do a co- control or a presence plus engineering. Remember, the difficulty presence is a three, so you may wish to spend momentum on this. Okay, so presence engineering, convince. 20, do I roll two or three? Do I wait until I find out? Uh, that's what you add, That's kind of what you want to, you know, let me know if you're spending momentum to do. So if you oh, want to roll uh, extra how much dice. Moment? We have four momentum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can buy one extra die for one momentum. Uh, you can buy the fourth die for uh, an additional two momentum. Let's, let's, so. let's get another die. Get another okay. Three D twenty. I assume that I'm trying to convince someone here. Yeah, that would definitely blended. apply. Okay, so now I need to see a success from Wisp. Otherwise, this will not be able to be pulled off. Let's do it. Oh, very nice. In fact, you get that momentum right back. So, uh, with Flibble and Wisp working together, uh, you make it, uh, you make the box above you uh, chime and otherwise beep like a quote unquote normal box. Beep. 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 This is a thing. <laughs> and and you know the the people who are now looking at the strange beeping box go is is it backing up or going forward? I can't tell. I I think it's backing up. Well, again, how the hell is it moving? Uh so let's go to Fluffles and Squirt. Uh what are you doing, Fluffles? Stealth tripling. The box has never failed me before. Okay. Uh, I believe that's going to be a uh, what is that for you? Uh, da, 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 once per se- oh, it's just automatic. Okay. Uh, I will say that you can hide either deeper into the box or you can risk exposing yourself to uh, hide somewhere else. The box has never failed me. I grab onto the top of the box and hide. All right. So Fluffles is still in the box. Uh, Squirt, what are you doing? I'm going to risk exposing myself to hide somewhere where there might be some food. Oh, so, there's there's food aplenty here. Yes. So um, is there uh, like some sort of uh, waste receptacle for uneaten food? Uh, roll me a, uh, let's do a uh, reason and a science, please. Uh, difficulty one. <laughs> this is not going to go well. <laughs> Uh, awareness is a focus? Oh, most definitely. Cool. Okay. Here goes nothing. Ha! Exactly. Nothing. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so what happens is uh, you get about middle of the floor, and you look around, and you are just captivated by the sight of so much food on the tables. 
And I need you to now roll me a control and a con, please, to see if you restrain yourself. And the difficulty, I'm going to spend some threat. The difficulty will be a four. Oof. Okay, so I think that I will spend three momentum to get four dice. All right. And I'm trying to restrain myself. Mm -hmm. So composure or something like it would uh, would apply here. No. <laughs> but there you go. Very nice. So uh, <laughs> you actually get a momentum back from that. And yeah, uh, you restrain yourself from leaping at the nearest uh, plate of food. I mean, it's sorely tempting, though. It's like right. it's right there. You just have to jump once, and it's there. That's a fool's choice. And uh, it is at this point that uh, a few people are starting to give up or get up and start moving towards the box very curiously. They're like, <laughs> what the hell is... Beep. Beep. It <laughs> Since when do boxes beep? beep? I don't know, Frank. Beep. And Frank, the security beep. officer from earlier, pulls out his tricorder beep. and starts scanning the box. Uh, thankfully, uh, Squirt, they haven't beep. noticed you. Apparently, you blend in beep. with the carpet. So what would you like to do? Um, uh, hmm. Again, I'm looking for a place where they might be putting the food they haven't eaten to... Because I know humans do that thing. That's weird, but they do it. Uh, you see them actually put it back into the replicator where they get it from, and then the food disappears once they walk away. Ah. Oh, well, okay. While they're eating, while they're examining this box and have their backs to me, I'm going to go eat their food. Okay. Uh, which table, just for out of curiosity, which table you uh, want to leap onto? Let's do that one. That one. All right. So you leap up there. And uh, after a moment, as per the rules, when you eat something as a tribble, there are now two of you. All right. Uh, meanwhile, back at the box, uh, you know, you're beeping and uh, one of the security officers, Frank, uh, poor Frank, uh, literally goes to pick up the box. What would you guys like to do? Uh, box is have the box make an alarming noise. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to give me a, uh, a a sound here. What what what's the alarm? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I I will make that. Are you trying that, to get us killed, sir? I uh, I will make that a, a an advantage so that the difficulty here is uh, only a two. Uh, but this is again either a control or a presence plus engineering. Uh, difficulty two. Ooh, unfortunately, right. you know, you make the alarming noise and it does stop them for a moment, but they pick up the box all the same and all three of you are now exposed and they go, holy crap, it's uh, dribbles. I, I would like to gonna... mention, I would like to mention I would not be exposed because I am clinging on to the inside of the box. You know what? Fair. I will say, Fluffles, you are not exposed. You are on the underside of the box. But uh, Wisp and uh, Flibble, unfortunately, you are exposed at the moment. Wisp has made themselves literally look like a ball of fluff. Okay. A giant ball of fluff. Wisp is... Uh, Flibble is... After they pick up the box for one second, is still beeping and then stops. And... You know the sort of just sits there, play dead essentially. There's a there's a small crowd at this point, and uh, squared by now there are now three of you, which I will make you keep track of three character sheets. Uh, oh God. <laughs> the uh, you know the crew kind of assemble around uh, Wisp and Flibble, and they're like, "Are those those are tribbles? Like th those are honest to God tribbles? Where, where did they come from?" Maybe we pick them up on Ryza? Nah, no, we scan everything. You know Starfleet uh, Reg Regulation 65B, no tribbles allowed. Well, they're I, here. I slowly uh, move. I'm, like, as soon as they look away, I would like to sort of shuffle. I would say the that uh, they their attention is kind of focused yeah. on you two at the moment. Yeah. While, well, while they are focused on them, I'm going to drop out of the box and shoot towards the food because they are currently all focused on the two other triples. Okay, uh, roll me a daring and a con, please. Uh, this will be a difficulty four, uh, but your stealth focus would apply. 
I will burn one momentum. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, with three, uh, it's not enough. So uh, what happens is, is instead of landing on uh, this table to the left here, the only one that uh, Squirt is not on, uh, you actually almost headbutt one of the security off, or not the the security officers, one of the crewmen, and and they look down and catch you at before you fall to the ground and go, "Hey, this one's alive!" I it it just immediate purring, immediate purring. Oh, look at that! Wisp. It's purring. Wisp is jumping into the arms of the guy next to them and purring. Oh. Well, this is nice. And then uh, Frank says, but Regulation 65B. Damn the regulations, Frank! We have tribbles! They're cute and fluffy. Well, but, but, sir, when the captain finds out... And it is at this point, uh, as you guys prefer, that uh, the entire ship uh, shudders and the warning lights of Red Alert begin to flash through the mess hall. And uh, all of you, uh, even you, Squirt, who at this point, uh, you know, uh, they have sort of noticed you. Well, at least one of you. Uh, <laughs> your two clones will continue eating. Uh, but the, uh, the crewmen uh, snatch up you triples, and they run to their posts, which just happens to be the battle bridge. This is everything I ever wanted. <laughs> All right, so uh, you four are now in the battle bridge of the Vandura. And uh, as you are set aside or as you are otherwise, uh, you know, put down, uh, mm -hmm. you can see that on the view screen, and you guys can position yourself wherever you'd like, uh, you can see that on the view screen there is a, what appears to be a, a Borg Pyramid uh, coming out from Trans Warp, and the captain, uh, who, you know, with you're probably sitting right behind his head, uh, the captain kind of goes, My God, it's the Borg! Uh, hold on, uh, maybe, maybe we could talk our way out of it. Uh, sir, I will remind you that there has never been successful negotiations with the Borg. Damn it, Johnson, do not question my methods! Open a channel! And Johnson says, uh, Channel open, sir. And uh, on screen, uh, you see the interior alcoves of a Borg vessel. And instead of the normal Borg hail, you hear the following. Same multi-voice, uh, but it says the following. We are the Tribble. Lower your shields and surrender your vessel. We will add your biological and technological means of petting things to our own. Your culture will adapt to pamper us. Resistance is futile. And is at this point that the Starfleet officers kind of look around very confused and says, Was that a triple purring? Well, yeah, I got one right here. No, 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 on the screen. Oh. I screech because oh. this, e even with, even with them saying they are a triple, that is not natural. Yeah. Oh, they God, this one's screeching. Uh, what, what, what do you do with a screeching triple? <laughs> Yeah, I am making moves to try and get away from the screen to try and alert them that this is dangerous. That okay. that is dangerous. Uh, roll me a presence and command, please. Difficulty three. I would like to assist. You may also assist. Go for it. Uh, could I apply a focus to this? Uh, what do you have for focus? Awareness, adaptation, stealth. Ah, uh, I'll let you have adaptation. I would like to apply focus. Sure, what are your focuses applying? Building con convincing, I think. Convincing for sure. So I'm guessing I don't get one, but oh well. Wisp has jumped into the captain's lap and is doing the same thing. Nice. Okay, Dang. so Fluffles, uh, you have rolled one success, which means whoever is assisting them, I need you to roll a crit here. Which you well, do. Hell very yeah. nice. Uh, so uh, the uh, the Starfleet officers look around at each other and they go, I think the Tribbles know what's going on. They they seem to be very aggressive. Yeah, this one here is jumping up and down on the targeting sensors like it wants to help. This is highly against regulation, but sure. Uh, let's 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 see what happens. Uh, of of course, don't let them you know push the self destruct. But let's see what the Tribbles can do. Oh, self destruct fun. 
<laughs> so I must say, Squeer is on the Don't tactical panel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, he's going to fire photon torpedoes. All right. Well, let me uh, let me actually put us on this map because I did prepare a starship map for this. Oh boy. <laughs> hey. uh. All right, so, uh, as I said, uh, we're going to do a very bare-bones version of Starship Combat here. Uh, would like base, to uh, basically, to oh, sorry, go ahead. No, sorry, I'm sorry for interrupting, go no, ahead. No, you're fine. Sorry. I was, yeah, okay, All right. I was just going to say, Philip was going to go to the con uh, screen, to the uh, captain's chair, and try and get near the communications area. Gotcha. All right. Uh, well, uh, as I said, uh, I think I said it off screen or off stream. Uh, we're just going to do a very bare bones uh, starship combat. I'm just going to have them tell me what they want to do, and I'm not going to be too concerned with you know have they fired 18 times this round, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A because they're tribbles and it's funny, and B because it's the Borg and the Borg are OP. Uh, so uh, we will start off with the players. I believe Squirt, you wanted to fire photon torpedoes. Yes, full spread. Full spread. You do. You are aware that that does give me three threat. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. And, uh, you are going to be rolling a control and a security. The board, difficulty. No uh, the difficulty is a three. Mm -hmm. And if someone would click the Vandura, uh, a button should appear in the top left of your map screen. I need one person to click the ship rolls button. Just one of you. It's going to be control and yes, security. Um, so <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to use my uh, field promotion security talent mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to get my first extra d20. Let's see. I have to state a fact relevant to the task while talking like a dribble. Torpedoes! Full spread! Full! <laughs> um, so that's three, and then do we have any momentum left? Yeah, Not you've just got the there. one. So, okay, there we go. Um, but you know what? Um, I'm going to spend my determination. Okay. <laughs> and uh, invoking... I'm gonna trip you, sucker! Um, if you'll take that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that'll give me that. That's already got me a crit, and then here's the uh, the other three. Applicable focus awareness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay, that's so let's count successes six. here. Uh, six plus the ship above you gets you seven. So you get four momentum from that. And yeah, uh, the damage is rolled. Uh, it is currently three damage. Would you care to re-roll three zeros? Yes, I would. Was All that right. a, a momentum? A momentum to re-roll yep. those three zeros. Let's do that. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I just realized because uh, the uh, full spread is an additional challenge die... Mm -hmm. Um, you can re-roll actually four of those. Okay, so there's four challenge die. Ah. Okay, so, uh, you do have the option of spending some momentum to do some piercing. Uh, I will say, just so that, uh, it's interesting, they have maybe about seven resistance, so, you know, spend your momentum accordingly. Okay. Seven resistance. And how much per to get rid of uh, a resistance? Uh, it is piercing? two resistance off for one momentum. Two resistance off for one momentum. So, two. So, yeah, I'm going to spend three momentum to get rid of all of it. Okay. So, that would be doing a grand total of six damage, which means that after accounting for the remaining one resistance, you cause a breach. Yes. So, uh, you actually, because you fired torpedoes, uh, you cause uh, two breaches because of high yield. Uh, okay. So, uh, I need you to roll me a... Let's roll me 2d20. Just, you know, regular 2d20. Right. And uh, I will tell you uh, what you hit. 
13 and a 10. 13 and a 10. Well, uh, both of those are destructure. So, Squirt, you jump up and down on the control panel excitedly, uh, and <laughs> the Vendura fires a, a spread of photon torpedoes towards the Borg Pyramid, and it impacts the pyramid and just causes big old gaping holes to, you know, explode into the structure of the pyramid. Um, effectively, that means it loses its turn uh, for this round, so you guys get to go again. Uh, I would... Uh... Flibble would like to try something. Sure, what would Flibble like to do? Intimidate the Borg. Okay, I will say that they are Borg, and yep. I will say they're kind of usually immune to uh, intimidation, but sure, what do you got in mind? They're Tribble Borg. This uh, is true. What do you have in mind? Uh, essentially, well, first of all, I am going to be using my uh, uh, my determination on this. Just okay. At point. Um, so, go, should I tell you what I'm going to say, or roll, or what do you want me to uh, I will say, if you, if you tell me what you want to say first, I might sure. uh, lower okay. or raise the difficulty, depending on how good it is. Did you see that? We are the United Tribulation of Planets, and we have the power to destroy your Borg Pyramid. Your forces are now ineffective and obsolete. If you do not leave this sector, you will be destroyed. I repeat, this is United Tribulation of Planets. If you do not leave the sector immediately, you will be destroyed. Sorry about that. I have a jet flying over my head and I'm laughing really hard. Um, okay, so I would say, uh, with that said, this will change this from a difficulty 9 to a difficulty 6. So it is still a very hard task, but it's possible. It's not very probable, but it is possible. So I would like to use, I've been alone long enough to know anyone can believe anything when it's said confidently enough, as mm -hmm. my, which is my value. Okay, so that will let you use your determination for two free successes. Yep. I don't know how to input that into the <laughs> uh, You, you, you don't put it in, we just keep track of that in our heads, kind of a thing. Okay, and this is presence command? This is presence command. Uh, how many dice would you like to roll? Uh, what, mo do we have in a momentum? You have, have one, one at the moment, uh, and the way it works, and this is probably a little bit complicated, but let's be fair about it. Um, so determination counts as one of the five dice you can roll. It's just that the determination counts as having rolled as a one. Um, so if you want to buy additional dice, it is two momentum or one momentum and one threat in your case uh, to get a third dice, or it is one momentum and four threat for the fourth dice. Uh, can we I, assist? I would say you can assist if you tell me how you're assisting. Um, Wisp is jumping up and down on the communications thing. Okay. Question and is, I would also like to assist. How would you be assisting? Uh, can that communications thing see a, another crew member aside from the triples? Run that by me again. Is can the communication, like the the feed that is being sent to the triples, mm -hmm. the pork triples, see another crewman that isn't a triple? Yes, they do I'm see the to, captain. I am going to uh, get on the captain's shoulder. Mm -hmm. I'm on the and, captain's chair as well. So I'm on the captain's chair. And to make it look like we are completely united with these other species. Okay. Uh, I will say that uh, you each can assist with your own presence command, but I will make the complication range now a 16 to 20. Ooh. Oof. Ooh. All right. Well. Yeah, spin that momentum and give him a threat for the third die, for yep. sure. Or, I'll do that. Yeah. I'm doing it. Yep. Ooh. There is presence my character command. Sheet button. Yep. There's my character sheet. Now we pray. My focus. Yes, focuses. Mm -hmm. I wonder how my clones are doing. They were still eating. There's probably more of me. Oh, well. Didn't do super well, so that's only four successes right now. Four successes. Oh, four. location. All right. All five. right. So Darn. we have five successes, or at least that's so many I'm counting. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's two complications. Um, so what I'm going to say happens is, uh, you know, you say this thing, 
And at the same time, uh, one of you jumping up and down on the comms panel, you accidentally uh, eject the Vandura's comm array from the ship. And the the crewman who's looking at the panel goes, uh, Sir, the, the Tribbles just launched our comms. The, how is that even possible? What do you Oops, mean they launched the our array at them? They launched... Sir, it's right there. It's floating right there on the view screen. Okay, after this, we're going to have to have a very long discussion about what is possible, where these tribbles came from. But for the moment, uh, everybody brace. It looks like the Borg are coming in. Enough talking. Let's kick some Borg butt. All right. So for... Oop, I accidentally closed the turn order. Uh, so that is going to be all of your guys' actions, because assisting does count as an action. Um, the Borg are going to spend their two turns to move in to close range. And then they are going to open fire. So, uh, let's see how well the board do. Boop. Ooh. There's still three trebles in the captain's lap, by the way, right? Yes, there is. <laughs> All right, so here's what happens. How many effects is that? That is three effects. All right, so uh, a energy draining weapon uh, lances out from the pyramid, dealing it a a 11 damage to your uh, to the Vendura's shields, which I believe drops you down to 3. Uh, in addition, it saps away, uh, what is that, 2 power. Uh, so I believe you're now at 3 shield and 9 power, which could become important, because if you lose shields, they can beam in. Well, they probably could beam in anyway, but they haven't decided to yet. So um, I'm that. They can do everything. Yeah. Um... But I do need to roll something very important because there is a breach here. A 20. Oh. So oh, no. unfortunately, uh, you notice, or at least uh, Squirt notices, that uh, the attack has temporarily damaged the Vandura's weaponry. Meaning ah. that you have to spend uh. a, uh, a minor action in order to... Restore? Unquote, restore, yes. But uh, the good news is, is that it is now back to the player's turn. So any one of you can act. Uh, that's all I got. I broke it. I'll fix it. <clears throat> I, I want to try to repair the okay. uh, weapons. Uh, I would say that this is going to involve some tractor beaming. So why don't we have you do a control and an engineering or, no, 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 I think a tractor beam is, yes, it's a control security. And if someone could roll the ship's structure security for me, please. I'd also like to assist. Uh, I would say that this is something that cannot be assisted because okay. the ship that's is fine. assisting. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, control security from Wisp, uh, structure security from the ship. The difficulty here is a two. Let's try this. Okay, so I need to see at least one success from the ship. Uh, is anyone rolling for the ship? I can roll for the ship. All right. And again, they are rolling a, uh, a structure and a security. Mm, I'm not renting. The other thing. Structure and security. Structure. Security. Ooh, ooh. So unfortunately, with that complication, what happens is that, uh, you know, you bounce up and down trying to aim the tractor beam, but uh, fortunately, instead of uh, pulling the comms array back in, you push it further out, and, and the crewman, the flummox crewman, just looks at and says, Okay, sir, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe letting the Tribbles do this was a bad idea. They, they just pushed the comms array even further away. Well, Johnson... <laughs> I, if I wanted to know bad news, I would ask my wife. Sir, your wife has been dead for three years. Damn it, I know! You didn't have to bring it up! <laughs> uh, these, people, these people, they don't know how to deal with, com with complicated situations. Alright, I will say for sake of argument, uh, one more of you can go, and then it will be the board's oh. turn again. Okay, so Squirt will take a minor action to restore the weapon systems. Okay. And then I will... Uh, fire phasers. Okay. Using my uh, again my uh, field promotion security talent mm -hmm. to add the die. 
<clears throat> also, are there three squirts right now? There are, and I'm there. There's a reason that I made them earlier. I'm keeping track. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. There's probably more than three at this point. I would, yeah. I would say. Um, we we left the mess hall with three squirts and a whole bunch of food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, and let's see. I have to say something in Tribble to that has to apply. <laughs> Pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then that's uh, All right. security control. So before you roll, know that uh, because they are at close range, uh, your mm-hmm. phasers are rated for medium, so this is a difficulty three. Okay. Um, let's see. I haven't given you threat f- for a minute. Do I want to give you three threat? Yes, I think I'll give you three threat for the fourth die. Okay. And then let us shoot the phasers. Shoot the zephyrs, uh, and if someone could push, uh, push Ooh, button, complication. Yeah, that that'll be interesting. Uh, if someone could push button for the pyramid, please, or not for the pyramid, for the Vendura. All right. So uh, the good news is that you do strike it uh, currently for seven damage. Would you like to spend any threat to re-roll those uh, zeros? Add uh, piercing. Um, let's see. Wow, we got one, two, three, four. Uh, f- yeah, let's spin. I'll give you the threat to re-roll the, what is that, three mm-hmm. dice? Okay. Go away, character sheet. Ah, well, got one. Yep, so you're up to nine damage, which reduced by its resistance is currently two damage. Uh, what is... There it is. What are the phasers? Uh, uh, qualities, I guess, is the word. Uh, you have versatile two, which means you have two bonus momentum that you can spend on uh, the reroll or piercing. So you could have, instead of giving me the threat, and I'll say if you want to do it, uh, you could have spent one of the bonus momentum to have rerolled. Now, take that uh, for. Take the threat for the reroll and let's spend the bonus momentum on piercing. Okay. So that will do a grand total of six damage, which is not only enough to take down the shields, but cause another two breaches. So uh, that actually, again, nullifies out the Borg Pyramid's attack in its turn uh, as it is. Uh, it's not doing so hot. You know, uh, Pyramid, uh, it's only a certain scale and. It's not doing so hot. Uh, I bet a fool tries to take my pet and creatures. But uh, the complication is, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, the tractor beam emitter, which you just pushed the comms array uh, away from you. You're looking on the view screen. There's like five, six, sixty uh, of you uh, of Squirt that are now floating out in space, just <laughs> listing listing lazily. You know, floating in space. No! <laughs> and and the captain says, Johnson, are those tribbles out there? Uh, yes, sir. I, I can confirm those are tribbles. In fact, I think they're duplicates of this one here. And he holds up Squirt. Uh, Johnson, where the hell did we get that many tribbles from? Uh, sir, I believe we let them in the mess hall. Well, why the hell did we do that? Uh, sir, I believe they had a box. A box? What do you mean a box? (laughs) It it was the best box. Uh, And it is at this point that I believe, uh, Wisp and, uh, Flibbles, you have not gone. I could be wrong, uh, but it is the player's turn again. I've been. Okay, so then it is Flibbles and the other F one. I, Fluffles. Fluffles, Flibbles and Fluffles. The Fs. F team. Mm -hmm. F troop. So which one of you would like to go? Alright, is there anything that needs to be repaired right now? Because I we know that I'm good at fixing things. Uh your poor GM sanity, but other than that, no. Uh Don't worry. I I've taken lessons in orc in orc medicine. I can fix anything. Even that's even that pesky brain. Oh dear. Alright, well, uh, you know, just tell me generally what you would like to do and I'll make something up for it. Let's see if I can possibly 
find a uh, can, can I try to analyze this Borg pyramid okay. for a weak point for something a weak that point. A we scan can break. for weakness sure you can definitely do that uh, you are going to be rolling me a control and a science uh, because the Vandura is a nebula class and has the sensors pod the difficulty here is a zero so free momentum and if Woo. someone could please roll the ship's sensors and security, please. Well, I am terrible at this. Well, nope. uh, the uh, the ship could still get <clears throat> you a uh, a momentum. Hey, look at that. I did manage to put scan for weakness in. So yes, uh, you do get one momentum. And you are able. Your next attack against the Borg Pyramid will have the piercing two quality. Nice. And uh, you can get additional damage if you buy D20. So, with, uh, with Fluffles hopping down, uh, you scan the Borg Cube and, well, the Borg Pyramid, sorry. And you identify that if you hammer, say, Sector Alpha 2 a little bit harder, uh, you could potentially blow this Borg Pyramid uh, to high heavens. But yeah. Oh, it's a stomach car! Ta time to show them that boxes are better than pyramids. All right, so Flibbles, I believe it is now your go. What would you like to generally I'm tired do? of your right angle bias. <laughs> I would agree with that statement, yes. It's um, always boxes with you, man. I mean, they do boxes too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Flibble will go and eat some food. Okay. Uh, and, uh, I will say that, uh, well, that will take your whole turn, but there are now two of you. Hey. So, uh, you know, the, the Starfleet crew goes, Johnson, why did you leave out a, uh, a cheesesteak on the console? I was hungry, sir. Yes, I understand that, Johnson, but you have a strict rule of not eating at your station. Uh, sorry, sir. Oh, oh, never mind, sir. The triple is... There's now two triples, sir. Somebody get a hold of these damn triples. Uh, but uh, we come back around to the Borg's turn. And uh, the Borg are going to open fire again. All right, Borg, what can you do for me? Ooh, 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 that's a heavy hit. Ooh. All right, so uh, your shield's gone, like super gone. Uh, and that's enough damage, five, so you are going to take... God, what is that? Two breaches? I will spend threat to make that four breaches. Ooh. So mean. So mean indeed. Uh, but let's see what happens. All right. So the two seventeens, I believe, don't really matter to you guys. Uh, let me check. Uh, no. So seventeen is structure. So that could be very important. Uh, Thirteen is also structure, and two is computers. We don't care about computers. Uh, but what we do care about is the structure. Um, so what happens now is I roll a challenge die three times, and if I roll an effect, one of you has been seriously injured. So, uh, I'm just going to roll one at a time for dramatic effect. So here's the first one. All right. Here's the second one. Ooh. No. I and me. here's the third one. Ooh. No. Ooh. Okay. So what I'm going to do now. We are not strapped in for this collision. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, based on your position in the Discord overlay, uh, I am now going to roll 1d4, and this will be which one of you is seriously injured. Okay, so I believe that is you, uh, Soup, your character, Fluffles. And then... Uh, so the two Fs, the two Fs, Flibbles and Fluffles. Uh, a... <laughs> A console or a part of the ceiling ruptures, sending out a burst of sparks. And you two, well, I guess in Flubble's case, uh, one of Flubble's is seriously injured. Ah, get me food! Get me food! <laughs> uh, but it is the player's turn again. What would you guys like to do? Kill it! It doesn't have right angles. Kill it! <laughs> So whoever's keeping track of the ship, how much power do we have left? Fired uh, phasers last time. You have eight power at the moment. Oh, groovy. Um, yeah. I'm going to take these board down. I'm going to fire phasers. Alrighty. 
So, uh, again, this will be a difficulty three. And if you want that uh, that Tribble uh, focus, you uh, yeah. you got to say something in Tribble. All right, let me get things set up. Uh, control, yes. Submit. Ninety three. Focus, yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh... <laughs> I will avenge you. <laughs> Knock him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let it okay, happen. Here we go. There we go. Oh wow, very nice. Uh, so you get two momentum from that, and yeah, go ahead and uh, oh, the ship hasn't even rolled. So if someone can do the ship, please. Oh, very nice. So uh, you actually get uh, four or no three momentum from that. So you are up to four. Uh, nice. You are doing eight damage at the moment. Okay, so let us take. Uh... Momentum to reroll. How many zeros was that? Two. Uh, I count two. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh wait. Uh, actually, uh, you do get a scan for weakness bonus. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have any effects, mm-hmm. but uh, you are actually able to get one more challenge die uh, before you do any rerolling. Okay. So let's do this challenge die by itself. Okay, so Nothing now you else. have three zeros you could reroll. Okay, so let's spend the momentum to do that. Okay. Put that on the deck. Go away, momentum. And then I'm really rolling three. All right, there we now go. That, that is important because that does grant you two resistance off. So they have seven effectively, so they're down to five. Mm-hmm. So let's spend. Uh, two momentum to get it down to just one all right squirt um, how would you like to do this how do you mean like you killed it how would you like to kill it <laughs> awesome okay the uh the vandura's uh phaser arrays uh do the thing where from each extreme end they kind of light up and they the, the the lights move rapidly around the phaser array to the to the point where they meet and then a beam of, of bright scarlet energy lances out um, right through one of the uh, first holes we blew in the structure of the vessel striking deep within the Borg in some unknown uh, center of uh, food and power and the thing flies into pieces with with literally hundreds of thousands of tribbles and uh, a, an entire uh, navigational hazard of food containers and grain and half-eaten cheeseburgers and chicken wings are all just floating out in space now. Ooh, that was beautiful. I, I, I would like you to take two momentum for that beautiful description. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we, uh, we come back to the bridge where uh, I will duplicate your token in a moment. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. Where is? It was I am currently that bleeding out on the ground, brothers. <laughs> All right, I'm so still in the captain's lap. Both of me. I'm in so... captain lap too. All right, so Flibble one. Uh, I'm gonna mark with an X. Well, not an X because you're not dead. I'll mark you with a red dot. So Flibble Prime is red. Fluffles Prime is red. And yeah, uh, they are currently, quote-unquote, bleeding out until one of you runs over to stabilize them. Uh, I know nothing of medicine. Someone else should probably go do that. Square. I can help. I know nothing of medicine either. Someone else should go do that. I can help. Go help. Can you say I'm currently also on fire because sparks and shit? Yes, I will say that you are currently on fire because why not? Poor Tribble. <laughs> All right, so there's two people here, so I need to know who the first one being assisted is. Or, you know, who who are you trying to stabilize or put out first? You go uh, first, Wisp. I'll put out Wisp, Fliffles. Okay, so uh, Wisp, I need you to roll me a Daring Medicine, please, at a difficulty of one. And I will say that if you do not succeed at this, unfortunately, Fluffles Prime will be dead. So you may wish to spend momentum or determination here. Are you doing fluffles or flibble? Fluff. Flibble. 
Flibble, okay. okay. Uh, well, then the good news is uh, Flibble Prime can die. He has made progenitors of himself, uh, but you would lose the Prime version. I would like to use my determination. Uh. All right. And what value are you calling into play here? Nothing is too hard if you're fluffy enough. Yes. Nice. Yes, of course. All right, so you start off with two free successes, so just literally don't roll complications. All right, fluff focus. Uh, yeah. yeah. Very nice. nice. So uh, you get a grand total of uh, three moment, no, four momentum from that. So you're capped with one floating. With one floating. Uh, and yeah, uh, Flubble's Prime or Flibble. You know what I'm trying to say. Flibble Prime. Yeah. Uh, you Whoa! are back conscious and everything. Live, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Scree! Scree! Uh, Meanwhile, uh, Fluffles, uh, as uh, before they can put you out, you are going to take some on-fire damage. So you're going to take three stress damage as you continue to immolate. But uh, it is at this point that uh, Squirt, if uh, you want to try and stabilize him. Damn it, Fluffles! Don't die on me, man! Come on, man! Alright, so same thing. Daring medicine. Captain, what did I say uh, about ankles? I can't trust anything but a right angle. <laughs> and I'm going to spend a momentum for a third die. Okay. Uh, don't think I have an applicable focus, so here goes nothing. Ha ha! Very nice. And you stabilize <laughs> Fluffles. All right. So uh, after this is all done and you're starting to recuper uh, recuperate, uh, the Starfleet captain and uh, his crewman Johnson, they kind of look around and it is at this point that the captain opens his mouth and says, okay, so ignoring the fact that we just blew up some Borg, uh, where the hell did these tribbles come from and why? And he gets that word out and it is at that point that Squirt, uh, about 100 copies of yourself fall onto the page. I'm not going to put 100 tokens on here. <laughs> But just imagine just hundreds of you piling onto the captain until he's in a pile. And the captain, you know... A pitiful, 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 a pitiful. Oh, God. <laughs> How dare you keep all the food to yourself, Captain? Hey, I'm still hungry. I haven't eaten at all, and I was lit on fire. Oh, dear. And yeah, uh, very similar to the episode with, with Kirk and the Tribbles. The the captain is buried neck deep in Tribbles and just kind of looks around and says, After this, I think I'm just going to submit myself to counseling. I feel this is a very traumatic event. And, oh, this one's cute. And he picks, he picks up Wisp, and Wisp, you duplicate into two. Oh! <laughs> Bored fools! Never trouble with a triple, fools. Oh, dear. All right. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen and anyone who's watching, I think this is what we call the end of the session. <laughs> Flibble, wait, before, before, Flibble would like to convince the captain that there are no triples around here. Uh, sure. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's have one roll to go out on. Uh, sure. This will be. I would like to use all of the assisting. momentum. I would like to use all the momentum. Okay. I am assisting as well, if possible. <laughs> I will let one person assist. Uh, this will be a presence command. I'm going to spend my remaining threat. This is a difficulty 7, complication range 16 to 20. Okay, I would like to spend all of the momentum remaining as possible. So how many dice does that make? Uh, you can roll five dice. Cool, five dice it is. Uh, and I believe convincing is a focus. Oh, I've yeah. already used my determination, so I can't do that. Mm-hmm. I will burn my determination with uh Well you you can't assist and determinate, unfortunately. <laughs> and determinate. Damn. Wow. He oh, holy wow. crap. Alright, so <laughs> let's wreck on that for a moment. The captain is going, I think I'm going to need therapy after this because of wait a second. Are these trills re Johnson, did you put on the hollow emitters again? And Johnson goes, ah, I got you, sir. They're holographic triples. Oh, Johnson, you card. Everybody be cool. Act like a stuffed animal. And yeah. Away, quickly. Uh, the way we'll, uh, we'll sort of cut away is that the crew of the uh, Vandura just begin cleaning up the holographic triples. And you guys are able to get back to the cargo bay where your adventures may continue in the future. 
But for my sanity, I think this is where we'll end the session. Um, I, I do want to say thank you, players. Uh, that was highly enjoyable. Hopefully it was fun to watch. Um, but this is where I'll cut the stream. Uh, so anyone watching on Twitch, YouTube, etc., etc., thank you so much. And have a good one. Thank you.